You're watching the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. Yes, hello, welcome back to the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. When I'm up here, you know it's good news, guys. You know the sun's out in Liverpool City Centre. And it looks like we've got our other two midfielders as well. Let me update you about what's happened. Remember to smash that like button, comment with your thoughts. How happy are you with this news? And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Let's get into this then. The report is this morning that Kefran Turam and Manu Kone agree personal terms with Liverpool Football Club for a, a roundabout fee of 35 million each, right? Liverpool's pursuits of Turam and Kone are heating up in the wake of Alexis McAllister's move to Liverpool now officially announced. But Nice's Turam and Mönchengladbach's Kone are friends, as we know, they hang out together a lot and they have both uh, obviously played for the French underage national team together. But a new report today that both men have agreed personal terms with Liverpool, giving Liverpool three new midfielders in a space of a week. It's like London buses. You wait for one for two, three years and then three come along at the same time. What news? This is incredible. The sun is out. Go and have a bevy and celebrate people. This is unbelievable news for Liverpool. What is going on? As we know, both valued around 35 million, um, the same price that we paid for Alexis McAllister. Bear in mind, people, we were talking about paying 120, 130 for Jude Bellingham, who now has gone to Real Madrid. But we're about to confirm three midfielders, I would say, for 105 million, for all three of them. It doesn't really get better than that, Reds. Unbelievable work from the departing Julian Ward. Unbelievable work from Jorge uh, Schmadke as well to manage to get these over the line. Um, but yes, it looked like last night there was rumours that they were both on a plane, a private jet, flying into Blackpool, people. And that arrived, if you are to believe the, the rumours, around about half nine this morning. But incredible news but what does that mean for Liverpool it means we've got three excellent new midfielders we've got a massive variety we've got real variation when it comes to the midfield now when you look at McAllister Kone and Turam you've got a real mesh of box to box players you've got ball winners you've got destroyers you've got very very quick players as well in terms of quick thinking um, you've also got players who have Premier League experience you've got younger players who are very close together at kind of messes out the time that you would need to, to settle into the team. If you're coming with your best mate, then life is good, right? Life is very good indeed. It is a little bit windy up here at the top. So what squad numbers do they get? As we know, still a few available. Um, I think Kone was 35 or something like that, which again is available if he wants it. But this is massive news for Liverpool. And Jacques Talbot first broke the news last night, the French journalist. Um, and as we know, we've been really interested in the Nice midfielder for a number of months. Um, but he said this, the Frenchman who has been on Liverpool's radar since January has been in advanced talks with the Premier League club over a proposed move. And now two clubs have agreed a deal in principle uh, uh, and we hear now that talks are underway between the two clubs over a fee. It's thought that Nice are looking for a maximum value, knowing that the 22-year-old had other suitors, such as Newcastle. But Turam had been pushing for a move to Anfield for a long time. He wanted Klopp, and we now understand that personal terms have been verbally agreed. This was uh, yesterday, and now today it looks like, as I said, that they are at the AXA. Um, doing their medicals, etc, etc. Um, so guys, in the comments right now, out of 10, how happy are you with these extra two signings? And this is Liverpool really putting their cards on the table to say, we're not messing about. We're not going to get our transfer news and, and dealings out the way early. Um, so in my opinion, now we've got three midfielders and we will officially announce that when it is officially announced by the club. But what else do we go for now? Is it a defender? Is it a right back? Is it a striker? As I've heard a few of you say in the comments in the last few days as well. But this is massive, massive news for Liverpool. It's trending on Twitter. Turam and Kone, the new central midfield pairing for Liverpool. And again, if you go on Twitter, it's all that everyone is talking about. Nice agreeing uh, with Kefram Turam. Uh, to go to Liverpool and again TalkSport all the big outlets are saying it now and LFC as, as per TalkSport want to make Nice midfielder Turam their next signing and of course they're exploring Turam's French under 21 international teammate Manu Kone from Gladbach everyone talking about it now in terms of Kefran let me give you a couple of stats on him he had a retention rate of 81% in Liga last season he had a post recovery progression rate whatever that is of 9.58% and his retention rate is better than everyone 
except Thiago and Curtis Jones. And he has played more minutes than Thiago and Jones combined, by the way. This is the kind of player that we're bringing through the door. And as well, um, we know that Turam's dad was involved in the negotiations. Lilian Turam, the French World Cup winning legend. Uh, there's obviously another Turam that plays for France as well at the World Cup. But... He's obviously had a very nice negotiation with Horg Schmadke, um, the new sporting director for Liverpool. But everyone talking about it now. Medical has been booked and the private jet from Nice landed into Blackpool this morning. So again, that was half nine this morning. We saw details of this flight. Let me get the flight details up for you as well. This is what Liverpool fans do. We hear that there might be a player flying over and we get on flight radar 24 and you can actually see what flights are leaving where and where they're coming in. And we've seen that on Friday the 9th of June, it left at 8 a.m. It arrived to Blackpool of all places, <laughs> just by the Blackpool Tower. They thought it was Paris, but it was actually the Blackpool Tower. Um, it arrived at 9.27 this morning. That was a couple of hours ago. It was with Ergo Private Airline. I can even tell you the aircraft was a Piaggio Aventi 2 Evo. It's unbelievable some of the details you can get. So flight radar 24 is about to crash again. Liverpool fans all over that, making sure that this plane includes the two lads that we're trying to buy. And again, terms have been agreed and Liverpool are really, really putting a strong marker down and reminding the rest of the league. You know, I was with Robbie yesterday. He was saying Arsenal are going to go again next season. Man United are. Who's even going to stop Man City? But Liverpool now, this is the rebuild, the regen, the reset that we we're all talking about in the months gone by. Can Klopp rebuild that midfield? Is there open heart surgery needed? There was, and he's doing it. Three midfielders signed potentially before the window even opens. I don't even know how that's possible. June the 14th, it officially opens, but we've already got McAllister through the door. Kone and Turam as well, which begs the question, who else? Where else? What other positions do we need to strengthen in? Is it a right back? Do you push Trent into that midfield or not? Considering we've just bought three midfielders. Do you then go and buy a, a Koundé, a Pavard? Names that we've been talking about. Mickey van der Ven has gone off the radar a little bit as well. But who else would you like to see come in to complete the set of this transfer window for Liverpool? Three midfielders in so far. Unbelievable news as well. We are hearing as well that um, Naby Keita as well, um, former Liverpool midfielder who left just a couple of weeks ago has found a new club as well, apparently. I'm just getting the article up now from Dave O'Cop, again, a, a reliable name on Twitter, uh, just under 400,000 uh, tweets. But let's see who Naby Keita's signed for. This is rumours, uh, this is the first time I've seen this. Wow, Werder Bremen on a free transfer. Not where I expected him to go. I'm not too mad at him going back to Germany, but Werder Bremen on a free transfer, according to journalist Toby Uh He was reporting today for Build, and he writes, Nabi uh, Keita, 28, is about to join Werder Bremen on a free transfer. What do you guys at home make of that? Did you expect him to go somewhere else, or was that kind of a roundabout where you expected him to go? He signed a contract with the North Germans until 2026 as well. So guys, as you know, Kone arrived on a plane. Hopefully they're both at the Axe now. Terms agreed. Um, Turam the same. Hopefully he was on the same plane to cut, cut, a, bit, uh, cut, a, bit, cut a bit of... Um, you know, planetary damage. Hopefully they can get the same plane together and, and save the planet and all of that. Um, but yeah, unbelievable news to wake up to, guys. And when you see me out here on this roof recently, it's only been good news. So make sure that you keep smashing that like button to get me up here again. Who else will I be up here for in the next few days? Will we sign other players? But McAllister, Turam, Kone, in at Liverpool Football Club. How do you feel about that? Let us know. Smash that like button. Let us know about what you feel uh, towards the Naby Keita news as well. And of course, subscribe to the Cop TV this close. We might even be 10 subscribers away from 32,000. So you have to help me today. Be happy with this news and show the love. Make sure you subscribe and press that bell as well to always be notified of the videos that we upload here on the Cop TV. Loads more great content to come. I hope you liked the James Redmond surprise the other day. What day is it today? It's Friday, isn't it? So we'll carry on with the on the radar bits and bobs. And then Tuesday, of course, will be another Hot Copics as well. And we are going to head up to the Liver building for a special video on Tuesday. So as I said, loads of good stuff to come. Liverpool have signed two more midfielders today. Get in there. It's looking good next season. I tell you that. The sun's out and so are the midfielders. Get in. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the Cop TV. The voice of, of football's, football's most, most famous, famous stand. stand.